is uh, enterprise hardware like servers, storage, networking, and so on. Software accounts for another 20, 25%, and this includes all um, you know, software that's used in education, including the infrastructure management and implementation and support softwares. And another 20% goes towards online content and tools development. Now, this is an area where we are expecting to see a heavy uptake and rapid growth within the online content and tools development area. So this is the overall um, education segment in terms of the IT market. Now, um, in order to understand the technology evolution within the education sector, so we're talking about that is going to be the premise of our discussion this morning, is how technology has evolved within the education sector. It is important to first understand um, the medium in which content has been delivered and how this has evolved uh, you know, in the past 100 years. So if you look back in the 1900s, the key mediums for delivering content and consuming content were uh, the more traditional uh, forms like books, plays, journals, and so on. Fast forward 50 years, we have reached a more audiovisual exchange of content with uh, television, radio, movies, etc., forming the main sources of consuming content and how the end users prefer to consume content. Uh, by the 1980s, which uh, is my generation, we were using uh, video games, computers, Walkmans, etc. So it was still audiovisual in nature, but more personalized now. You know, personal video games, computers, which are uh, you know your personal computers, as well as uh, you know Walkmans and so on. Um, the millennials, like starting from 2000, uh, don't know the meaning of any of the previous uh, you know used forms of uh, you know consuming content. They are used to, you know, internet. So all the, uh, you know, all the delivery and consumption of uh, content for the millennials uh, was spurred by the World Wide Web. So internet, emails, texting, chatting, your ICQ. Uh, these kind of mediums became very popular, and that was where content was delivered and was the preferred mode. Now, fast forward all the way to 2015, we have seen a complete shift. So. As of 2015, uh, you know, based on our research and based on the conversations we've had with the entire education community, it is very evident that the most prominent mode of creation, development, delivery, and consumption of content is through what we call the third platform, 